What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. Are you a hustler or an entrepreneur? Inspired by Erica Williams. Shout out to Erica. Um, the thumbnail is hustle is a portrait of Hustle Man from Martin. If you don't get it, a lot of people in this new age in this new era era want to be hustlers. And the hustler went from a person who's basically um, a person who's who, who's just selling any and everything to make a buck um, to, to to wind up being expanded to just basically being a drug dealer or uh, somebody who's criminal. You know, it used to be like a, a thief, you know, selling hot stuff or a person um, who would be, um, what would you call that? Um, when you sell things out of your house, a yard sale. Like a yard sale would be, a person who does yard sales would, would be considered a hustler. That's how it used to be. You know, I got this. You want to buy it? I got that. You want to buy it? You know, that's a way to liquidate assets and, and, and get money. But now you see a lot of people saying they're entrepreneurs. And, and somehow, you know, this entrepreneurial thing has gone out of, out, of, out of line because there are a lot of entrepreneurs who don't realize, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you're on the clock and you're on call. You don't get to, you know, you don't get to just get up when you want to and go to bed when you want to. And when clients call, service them when, when you feel like it. No, if you got to get a business running, you got to get a system running like clockwork. You got to actually put in the time and work. You got to put in the, you know, the the, the 60 the 50 60 70 80 hour maybe 90 hour work weeks you know you got to do that maybe 100 hours in a week you got to do that constantly and over and over and over again until you build a system and a brand that people trust and they then they could come automatically because you have the system working on autopilot because of all the um the successes and failures you had to figure out and tinker along the way of your business but what you see is a lot of people who are hustlers saying that they're entrepreneurs and they're just hopping from pillar to post, you know, selling something here, selling something there. And when you got to actually um, put in the work and dot the I's and cross the T's, they quit and move on to another endeavor. And when they got to dot those I's and cross those T's, they quit. And move on to another endeavor. So now you're just a hustler. Because you can't just stand in it and build on one thing. Because, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you can start a business, you know, grow a business, work a business, grow a business. And then you can start another business and, and you get the process. You can, And that might be faster than the first pro process. Then you can expand three businesses, four businesses, five businesses, 10 businesses, 15 businesses have you want or just one big business and you constantly expand that business itself. But now people look at, look at social media as entrepreneurial uh, to be an entrepreneur. Well, you know what? I'm gonna cut on this camera. Um, I might speak some words to some music. I might dance or something online. I might, uh, say something motivational, inspirational, um, and now I'm an entrepreneur, you know, might have a product, but, but, but that's the thing about might generally not have a product, but most, uh, entrepreneurs have a product. Most hustlers don't, they have a, 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 a good, they, they didn't, what I'm saying is an entrepreneur can create a product. A hustler is just sell somebody else's. See what I'm saying? So when people feel like, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, it's like, are you really? And what what becomes um, more and more of an issue is you can have a successful hustler and you can have a successful entrepreneur, but don't mistake them for the same thing. You get what I'm saying? Don't mistake them for the same thing. An entrepreneur actually has to, has to have a, um, has to have a brand. A, a hustler doesn't. You know, a hustler does not have to have a brand. You, you know you might get uh, screwed over by a hustler. You know you might not get something quality from a hustler. You may get a knockoff from a hustler. But entrepreneur, you have to have a, a certain amount of quality, a certain amount of standard. 
but and, and the thing about entrepreneurs is entrepreneurs have a certain amount of standard as far as pricing. Hustlers don't. Hustlers just change prices whenever they feel like it. Oh, the price just went up. When? Just not because. Da, 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 da. So hustlers are people who try to be an opportunist and capitalize on your uh, the price gouge far more than entrepreneurs. A hustler will, you know, oh, this goes for $20, but now since you're in dire need of it, we got to sell it for 40 You know what I'm saying? You know a hustler got to do what a hustler got to do. You know, bad reputation leaves bad taste in a person's mouth. That's not good business. So that's really not good business. Um, but when people are presenting themselves, you got to ask, what are you presenting yourself as? You know, are you presenting yourself as a hustler? Are you presenting yourself as an entrepreneur? And some people, you know, don't realize, you know, hustlers, you know, don't realize you have to work. Like a lot of people want say they want to be a hustler or entrepreneur because they don't want to work for anybody. But that doesn't mean you want to work for yourself either. You know, a, a hustler doesn't want to work for themselves either. An entrepreneur realizes I got to work harder for myself than I do for to, for somebody else's business. So, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, really, really dig deep in this. So for me, I'm just putting out the difference. Um, tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.